Today we will be servicing a 2014 Dodge Ram uh, 3500 Dually with a 6.7 Cummins. No sockets necessary, just your standard 3 h drive, square in that plug right there. Um, they've used that for years, so don't have to worry about trying to find the right socket. And they're straight down instead of at an angle, so you don't have to worry about getting away from the oil. Once we're done draining this here, then we'll lower it down and, and get the oil filter over there. Newer rams that they now have got, you gotta access it through this wheel well. I've got the oil filter off and there's like an AC line down there or whatever and you can leave it set there. And then that gives you a minute to grab um, your oil filter plug, uh, which you can pick up at Doc's Diesel. Uh, they look like this. And that you just thread right into the oil filter so that way when you go to pull it up out of there, you're not leaking oil all over everything. So you can see it just sitting there. Then I just sneak in and I just thread that right in on there and just get it snug enough that you can pull. See how that looks like that? Pull that right on through. And that's how you get the oil filter out. And make sure that the O-ring is still on there. Very important. And this one is not on there. So prime example of why you check. So here's that oil O-ring. This one actually stayed stuck up in there. So prime example of why you want to make sure that that comes off with it. Got our new oil filter. We're going to put some oil in it. The Dox Diesel 1540. And you don't have to fill it all the way up, just as long as you got a good amount in there. And then just take that oil and lube that O-ring up. Take our plug. Now, like what I was telling you guys earlier, when we removed it, there's an AC line or whatever down there. You can just let it sit on there. And then I spin that, that cap off. There it's sitting there, unthreaded it. Now I'll just grab that oil filter and I'll take it straight up. A 12 core system, 